Annie! Be still. Okay, the, the hog is by itself. Can I shoot? To the right, yeah. Don't move, Joe. Good. It's American Gun Chick. And I'm Blake with Out West Farms Hunting. And it's Gun Day Monday. So it's early in the morning. We left our hotel at like 7 in the morning and I'm kind of tired. But we're on our way to go to our hunt and I've got my hunting gear on right here. And we're gonna go hog hunting, so yeah, this time I, I just I hope I get a hog, you know? Because I remember when I went deer hunting, I didn't get anything. I hope I get this hog because if I do, I want to uh, go to a taxidermy place and put the head on like a mount and maybe hang it up in my house. Well, maybe hang it up in my house that I get one day when I buy a house or just, you know, keep it in the RV, whatever. And then, yeah, just have the meat and make a bunch of delicious, yummy food. So we're on our way to the hunt, so wish me luck. What's up guys? So this is my second hunt ever. I'm like super excited. We're gonna go hog hunting. Um, my first hunt was a deer hunt and uh, I didn't get anything, which I was pretty sad about that. So hopefully I get something this time. I want to have some fresh meat to take home and eat before Christmas and yeah, make some tacos and some steaks and all kinds of stuff. So we just finished building a, a brand new lodge for our hunters to come and stay. Um, we have 10 bedrooms, we can hold up to 20 people. Uh, we have a full-time chef that cooks three meals a day. Um, it's all brand new, state of the art. Uh, beautiful lodge if you want to come and you can stay for a few days and hunt while you're here. Or if you just want to come stay and hang out, I mean we got um, ponds you can fish in. We have a brand new uh, skeet house to sh for shooting trap. Um, there's tons of stuff to do. You know, it's a good it's a good place to just come and relax in the woods and, and just enjoy um, South Florida. I really love the setup of the lodge. Everything was super clean and all of the staff was really friendly. We even got to look at the rooms, which would be more than comfortable for multi-day stays. Then, it was off to check out the skeet range. This is your marksmanship. come and relax and shoot some skeet and practice your shooting. Um, we offer quail hunts and dove hunts, so this is a good place to practice shooting birds um, and get you ready for a hunt. Now let's go shooting. Alright, so we're in Lake Placid, Florida and I'm here with Blake and he's going to take us hunting. So what are we going to do? Yeah, we're going to be hog hunting this morning. Um, we're going to go out on the swamp buggy and put some dogs on the ground and see if we can locate some hogs. Um, there's plenty of hogs in this area. We're overrun down here, so we're going to drop the dogs and see if we can't come up with one to shoot. Awesome. I'm excited. We were off to sight in my new 10 millimeter high point carbine, bought for me by a supporter, Scott Kimball. She got to come and get it kind of looking the optic we will be using was sent to me by ATN. It records video, has Wi-Fi, has rangefinder, and can be sighted in with just one shot. Let's do it. Let's get something this time. <laughs> They're so cute. I want to take them home. I feel like I'm at the shelter where I'm like, can I adopt them all? Okay. I think they're more excited than me to go hunting. <laughs> All right, so we're about to go on the hunt. We sighted in the rifle, and uh, we got our dogs, we got our big car, 
we got our guns, so let's go get some hogs. She's a wind through the hair on the back of my bike. She'll light up your world like the 4th of July. She's a little bit naughty and a little bit nice. My fool her once, but you won't fool her twice. It's coming out of the west. Wind is, the wind is coming out of the west, northwest, so we're going to hunt into the wind. You want to put the dog's nose into the wind where they can smell and win these hogs. Um, so we're going to go up here a little ways and drop the dogs and just ease through here. Hopefully they'll pick up on something. The goal was to drive around until the dog sniffed out a hog. Once they found one, they would start barking. There it was. It was time to go. Take your safety off. It's off. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter which one you shoot. Whichever one. I think the one on the right, you got a pretty good shot at yeah, his body. Clear shot. Okay, the, the hog's by itself. Can I shoot? To the right, yeah. Show move, Joe. Good. Good shot. Dropped him. <laughs> Good job. Good shot. Dropped him. <laughs> Good job. Can I shoot? Good shot, you dropped him. That was way easier than I thought. <laughs> Deer hunting was that's the best hard. beauty of having these this dogs. Time. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I got some bacon. Hope you're ready to cook, Brent. So I didn't get a vital shot, so we gotta put him down now. That wasn't that bad. It's the toughest hog in the world. So got my first hog. All right, so I shot the hog and walked up to it, and it was still like flinching and moving and stuff. And even now that it's dead right now, it's been dead for like five minutes, it's still wiggling around and stuff. So I think when people go hunting, maybe it's just like as you go hunting more and more, you start to learn more about animals and when they die and the way everything works. It's more than just guns. Being accurate with guns, there's a lot more to it. So I think that uh, it's good to always have like your pistol on you just in case like maybe he's not dead, maybe he is dead. It's hard to tell because their nerves are still working and it makes, their, it makes them like, almost like they're when you're sleepwalking, like when they're running. 
it's kind of weird, you know. This is my first time actually getting something from hunting, so I'm learning every, everything about it. So I was taking, but yeah, can't wait to eat some hog meat though. I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> now you're one for two. You're at 500. Huh? Yeah. Top teeth right here are called withers. And what, what it is, is you heard him popping his teeth at you when we walked up there. Oh yeah. So when he does that, this bottom tusk grinds. This has a flat edge here. This has a flat edge here. So when you hear them popping their teeth like that, their bottom tusk is grinding on those top teeth and he's just sharpening them. That's oh. how he sharpens his tusks. He's getting ready. Yeah. So when you hear that noise, Run. don't get close to one. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's ready to get you. That's a nice hog. So let's give homage, what is the word, homage? <laughs> let's give homage to him for sacrificing his life so we can eat. Thank you. Absolutely. All right now. All right, so we just finished our hunt. Um, we got on a hog pretty quick. It took us like five or 10 minutes and we found one with the help of the dogs. But it was pretty fun. That was my first hunt ever, first time doing it. So I thought it was pretty cool. It was pretty interesting, you know? Yeah, it was a good morning. Uh, this is the first cold morning of the year, really cold weather. It was 39 degrees here this morning and it really had these hogs moving. Um, we put the dogs on the ground and it, it, they found one pretty quickly and uh, she made a great shot, dropped him on the first shot, so it was a, it was a good hunt. Yeah, so it was kind of interesting because when we first got there, the dogs, there was two of them, the dogs were barking all around them and stuff. So as I was lining up my shot, I had to wait, of course, for the dogs to move out of the way. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was pretty interesting. I'm definitely not gonna go vegetarian, so I would do it again. Do you want to tell them more about how they can contact you if anyone wants to come out here? And... Absolutely. Um, you can go to, we're, we're located in Lake Placid, Florida, uh, about an hour south of Orlando and about an hour north of Fort Myers, uh, two major airports there. Um, you can go to Florida out, FloridaHuntingOutfitters.com um, or visit our Facebook page, Out West Farms Hunting. We have anything from alligator hunting, wild boar hunting, uh, whitetail hunts. We have 200 inch whitetail deer here. Um, turkey, Osceola turkey hunts. Anything that that, that you want to hunt in South Florida, we have it here at our ranch. Awesome. Well, I'll be back. Absolutely. Enjoyed it. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this hunt video, and I'll definitely be going on more hunts and trying to get more things and stuff. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned for the next Gun Day Monday. For an extended 30 minute video with all the stuff YouTube won't allow us to show, go to patreon.com slash American Gun Chick. Check out my friend Scott Brown of Scooter Brown Band and get Pistols and Pearls on iTunes in the link below. Scott is a veteran and has written music with Chris Kyle. Alright, so real quick, I just wanted to thank ATN. They sent me this really nice scope. It has Wi-Fi, it has camera recording, it has tons of features, and it's really cool. It's actually, it's it's like looking right into a camera, you know, focuses in really, really close. So I feel like next time when I go deer hunting, I'm definitely going to bring that scope. I really like it. But yeah, thank you, ATN. Um, I'll leave a link down below so you guys can go check them out and maybe get yourself one too. And it, it actually worked out really good. And I, I want to say thank you to Scott Kimball, too, for sending me that high point. That high point is flawless. I love it so much. And I'm super happy that I got my first hunt with the gun that he sent me. So thank you so much.